Hi there, just jumping on to show you a quick tutorial on how to preserve very special flowers, how to dry them out successfully. I have found um, some beautiful purple flowers on my walk just recently in the hedgerows. This is um, a purple field scavaceous plant, it's got another name which I can't pronounce. It's um, something I'm going to refer to as blue buttons, which is another name for it, a bit easier for me to say. Lots of those about at the moment. The purples are beautiful and I plan on using these in beautiful epoxy resin to make some precious casts. Got some cow parsley and some lavender. This is Hidcut lavender. Very, very pretty. And also a different um, type of lavender and some pretty pink, beautiful pink thistles that are growing currently at the moment as well. A bit early for the thistles, but um, they are starting to show. Um, so I've got my silica and um, I'm using a fine powdered silica which has been baked in the oven for two hours um, just in an old oven dish to rejuvenate it so I can just keep using it over and over again so about 110 degrees Celsius for two hours each time you come to use it um, obviously let it cool down before you add your flowers so to not um, scorch any precious little flowers and then simply take your flowers and embed them slowly in a small about an inch in your tub or your pot of silica so lay them carefully on your first layer so i'm going to fill this pot right up to the top and um, i'm going to put the flowers that i expect or anticipate to take longer or are most robust in the bottom so that i can get to the ones that need lifting earlier at the top so those that will take less time and it comes with practice and experience but I know that lavender dries really really well it's a solid sturdy flower and so I'm going to pop those in the bottom those can be last to come out so they don't mind being in silica for quite a while um, I'm going to start layering in the blue buttons as well popping those in as we go and then it's literally a case of adding your silica very carefully around your flowers so I do this with a little cup my caddy is quite deep so I'm going to gently pour over the lavender so I'm going to keep going with this and I'm going to carefully work around each of the blooms the more precious flowers I'm going to pour a little bit more slowly and slowly build it up keep going until it's fully emerged and then it's a case of adding my next layer of flowers it's really important actually not to cram too many flowers in so that they're touching they need to be um, spaced apart spaced apart so that the silica can um, do its job and if there's too many flowers in that layer of silica will just get too moist and not do its job properly so for a space this size about three um, or four blooms is plenty and then in I come with one more little flower to fill that tiny corner the um, leaves actually that I'm using are really pretty they look like ferns but um, they're actually on the stem of the cow parsley it's really good to capture all the leaves and ferns that you can because if you're making any resin crafts they make a great background for your molds when you're working in a mold so um, you think that they're waste parts of the plant but actually they're great for filling up space behind a mould. So here I am just filling it up slowly, getting in and around all the precious flowers. The petals on the thistle are particularly delicate so I'm going to be really interested to see how these ones come out. And then this will be my second layer and I can get about four layers of flowers in here 
remembering to put my more robust plants and flowers at the bottom and those that can be in the silica for a little bit longer. So I've nearly done that now and I'm going to speed up the next couple of layers. So it's completely covered now. My caddy is chock-a-block full of flowers. They're going to be left for a good eight to ten days. Um, the layer on the top of those that will um, dry much quicker so I can easily check those and then I'll know how the rest are. Um, and that's it. I'm going to go and store it in a kitchen cupboard somewhere out of reach of children and um, out of reach of animals. Thank you for watching. Give me a like or a comment and let me know how you get on.